Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. So today we're going to talk about creating a new character in Shadowlands. Basically, as you can see right now on the screen, they have retouched the whole thing. You have now all the classes here, the standard classes, the standard classes, the allied races and the allied races. So no more, we don't, we don't have to, you can say, uh, click on a next tab or next window of actually seeing the allied races. They're now going to be here. And of course, the new allied races we're going to see in the new expansion is probably also going to be here. So it's cool. It reminds me a bit of Heroes of the Storm and how they show all the heroes. It's probably have a bit inspiration from there. Also, we have all the different, you could say, classes down here. So we have all the different classes you can choose. And you can also choose if you want to have a class trial or not. And male and female. On all, this looks super good. And I'm actually quite cool with this change. So if we go into, let's create uh, for fun, um, a monk. And we're going to create a Sandalari troll. Then we can say customize. Here you can see it's like zooming in and begin to fade out the background. It looks super, super cool. Uh, we have the reset camera, so you can basically do like this. Reset the camera. You can also zoom in, zoom out and rotate and rotate if you want it. And reset camera. We also have the randomized appearance. Really cool. Then you have the face things. So here you can choose a drop down and choose all the different skin colors, faces, hairstyles. You can see here there's like two lists on hairstyles hair colors, tusks, earrings, and also you have the body here. So basically markings and you can choose your markings. Then you can give your character a name and that could, for example, be, um, well, let's use the randomized generator, finish. And I have my character now. In the future, in the future, just for letting you know, if you create an alliance character, it's coming soon for Horde and you create your character. You're going to be able to choose if you want to go to the normal North and North Shire or you want to go to the new place where I think it's planned to be that all the new players are going to be here. So I think if you are new and you start the game for the first time, you're probably forced to play here. But then next time you can probably be here. I'm not 100% sure. I can't be wrong at this point. Um, but again, we have the new zone where everyone who creates a new character is going to start. So that means when you have a friend you introduce to the game, he's basically getting to this new place and have fun with a lot of other players. While Northshire normally is maybe a bit empty and outdated. But now they will be getting to a new place where they can have much more fun. And Horde is also soon getting their map, but not yet. It's only Alliance at the moment that is open. So thanks for watching everyone. That was the character options we have in Shadowlands. Looks cool, looks fine. Let me know in the comments what you think about this new character creation because I kind of like it. So thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and see you in another episode. Peace out.